welcome to my channel and happy Sunday. Today, I just wanted to hang out, share some life updates, because I feel like I haven't been able to get chatty with y'all in a while. And I have a little Tokyo Treats Mini Mart haul as well. So we'll like open that, try on some, try out, like taste some of the stuff, hang out. It's gonna be a fun time. But before we dive into all of that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina, and on my channel, I unbox lots of subscription boxes. So if you like that kind of stuff, definitely make sure to give the video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today. Mumu is in the room with me, and she is <laughs> being a lot right now. She opened my window, so that's why you see those like things, because it was really sunny, so I shut the window, and then she jumped up and open the curtains, so we are. And then I also have like cardboard boxes in the corner that I like save. And she loves to chew on cardboard and right now she's getting involved with that. So she might get kicked out at the portion of this video. But like I said, I feel like it's been a while that I've been able to like sit down and chat with you guys because um, life has just been really busy. And so like when I do an unboxing video, I just unbox and go. And I just haven't had the chance to just like chat and hang out. But today's video is sponsored by Tokyo Treats Box. Um, you've probably seen me unbox their subscription box in the past, which their subscription boxes, Tokyo Treat and Sukuriko. And I love those so much. Um, but they also have like a mini mart where you can just go buy Japanese snacks. And so I have a little haul of that today, which I'm actually really excited about because they have some really, really awesome stuff. And I have tried some of my favorite snacks that I've ever tried through their subscription. And so if you really like something, and most of the stuff you really can't get here because it's truly just Japanese, then you can go and order it there, which is really exciting. And for their subscription, um, I do have a $5 off coupon code for your first box for either the Tokyo Treat or the Sakura Co. So I will put that down below. And then I will also link their advent calendar. So they have two advent calendars this year. So there is the Ryokan Retreat 14 day advent calendar, and then the Slice of Japan 24 days of adventure advent calendar. Both are $150, but a little bit different for each one. So the Ryokan advent calendar helps you immerse yourself in the peaceful tranquility of a traditional Japanese inn. Um, so it has seven made in Japan homeware and artisan keepsakes and seven delicious delights like Japanese tea and wagashi sweets and treats. And then the Slice of Japan 24 days of adventure advent calendar um, has over $200 worth of premium items, including uh, Japan exclusive treats, collectibles, figurines, anime keychains. Um, it has 13 doors of unique collectibles and then 11 doors of delicious snacks. So two different um, advent calendars out there. I think if you get both advent calendars, you can um, get 10% off as well. So I'll leave a link down to that as well. Um, you can get those in the mini mart. I'm also excited because I haven't eaten yet. I, um, one of the things, and I know I talked about this at the beginning of the year, is that I kind of have like cut back on my channel time to make room for like life and all those things. And so I really only film like once a week and it's usually a pick a day and I do it after work. Um, so it's been a long day and I haven't exactly eaten, I haven't, well I haven't, I haven't exactly eaten dinner. I haven't eaten dinner yet. So um, we're gonna eat these snacks as my appetizer before I eat real food. I don't know what it is, but for me right now, life is so busy. Like this time of year, it just, I don't know if it's just that rush before things kind of slow down. I don't know, but it's been so busy. Like work has been busy, but in a good way. Um, and But there's just been like a lot going on in life. Okay, I, Mumu's jumping back up in that curtain again. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> oh, she's a lot today. I love her so much, but ball of energy. And I don't know if my energy matches her energy today, but that's okay. Also, Mumu is my cat. I don't know if I specified that, but if you're new here. <laughs> There's that. Okay, so I am pulling out my invoice so that I get everything. They also sent me, I guess, some tea, which is really cute. They put a little note on it. Um, That's in Japanese, so I literally have no idea what that means. Wait, well, I guess I could Google Translate it. I'm guessing it says like, thank you or free or something like that. So we have, this was a freebie. So it says Japanese tea, Hakoni story. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, it has some English on the back. So that's fun. I love that there's a little tea in there that looks really nice. You do get in the subscription, get some really nice teas and you can also get those in the mini mart. Okay, I'm so excited about the first thing that I got. It, because it's this. It's for your Halloween. These are the Halloween marshmallows. There's 30 pieces inside and this was seven US dollars. I remember, I think we got one of these or one of these similarly in the box and I was obsessed. Their marshmallows are just like insanely good there. So they do come individually wrapped. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, and they're just like fluffy. They're like really soft. They're almost like a beauty poof. Oh, let's have a little marshmallow. Mmm. 
there's something inside of these. I don't know what it is. Is it like pudding? It kind of tastes like pudding. I don't know if it's banana pudding or like caramel pudding. That is so good. There's 30 in here, which means I probably shouldn't share them, but like those are delicious. I love those. To be honest, I probably should save some for Halloween because I live in an apartment complex, so really, I don't think anybody really comes by. We used to have like a thing where like there was, you put something on your door if you would have trick-or-treaters come, but I'm like on a top level and so people don't normally come, want to go up all the stairs. But it would be good to have a couple just in case somebody were to come because I don't have any other candy and I kind of want to buy Halloween candy, but then if nobody comes, then I have to eat it all, which is not a problem, but also like I'm trying to be a little bit more careful with what I'm eating, so. Oh my gosh, I've started doing a little bit more physical exercise. Walking is like my form of exercise, but I've been doing some working out at the gym and stuff. I'm very sore today. I was even more sore yesterday. I came home from work and I was like, put me in a bubble bath with a ton of salt, like bath salts because my muscles were just so sore. Um, but it's really good, like I feel good. I'm excited about like, getting a little bit more physical exercise. It's hard because like I work like a desk type job. So you're sitting a lot and then I come home and I don't have the mental energy or physical energy to do that. Or I'm coming home and I'm filming. So I don't have time. So yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit more physically exercisey. What am I even saying? Anyway, let's just, let's jump into the next thing I got. The next thing I got was this here. These are the Baby Star Crispy Noodle Minion Pizza Snacks. This retails for $3. Now here's the deal. The reason I, I got this for my dad, I did not get this for me, so I'm not gonna open or try this because I saved it for him, but my dad loves chips. I know this is not exactly a chip, but my dad loves chips and he's obsessed with the Minions. He just thinks they're so funny. And so I figured this would be like a fun thing to, to like, get for him and then i got another one for three dollars as well but this one is the crispy noodles but this is in the chicken nuggets now when i say noodle it's just a snack it's you eat it like a chip it's not like something that you boil or whatever chicken nugget barbecue and pizza and they have the minions on them i just thought it would be really really fun for him i don't know i'm like should i save these for christmas <laughs> this is the time of year when i start to do that when i get stuff i'm like should i save these for christmas the expiration date's not till next March, so like, I could. Or maybe I'll just give them to him now, but really, really fun and cute. Okay, up next, I'm so excited about. These are uh, like from Sakurako, which is one of their subscriptions, and these are the white chocolate fruit strawberries. This was $14.99, I think there's six in it. You could get bigger packs, but these are expensive, but these are really, really nice. And they come like individually wrapped. I mean, these are really, like, I remember being obsessed with them. So we are gonna have one right now. I, they were just like intriguing because they're like white chocolate, but they're a strawberry and they're just so good. So it looks like a freeze dried strawberry and it, it must be to a certain extent because there's like the seeds in there and everything. Ma'am, no thank you. So she, oh my God, she can, do you see her sniffing? Cause she can smell it. She is a food obsessed cat. I'm not gonna lie. She's probably gonna be up on my lap. She, she's up on my lap right now. You wanna say hi, Moo? Here it is. What's this? Meh. It is not for you. No, we'll give you something after this. All right, let's try this. I literally do not know how they make these. It tastes like freeze dried strawberry, but also it tastes like white chocolate. It's just so good and delicious and it's just a really a really nice snack this would be a really great giftable too um if you want to give something somebody really like i just it's really really good also i love the box i will be saving the box because it's a really really cute box and they're expensive but i feel like it probably takes a lot of work to make these and some of the treats especially in sukuriko are like artisan made snacks in japan so the i'm wondering if these are so very cool mumu is currently climbing in the box um, I just want to say getting a, a cat or a pet, like it just makes life so much better. Like I love her so much. I got her in February and it's just like the amount of joy she brings to my life and to my boyfriend's life because she's ours together is just, it's amazing. I love it. She's so much fun. She's so silly. She's so food motivated. Like it's cute and annoying at the same time. Something about pepperoni pizza. We get Papa John's pepperoni pizza every once in a while and like she goes insane for it. Like you have to, we pretty much have to put her in a different room and shut the door because she will be like all over it. She's also trying to bite into the next item right now. 
<laughs> which is Pokemon noodles. So these retailed for $4. This is soy sauce flavor. I think they had another flavor. I figured I'd get a couple like fun noodle things because that's what Japan's known for. Everything on here is in Japanese, but like I said, you can take a picture with Google Translate and then it will translate everything for you. She's really like obsessed with this. She must smell it through the packaging. Look at her. She's like about ready to bite this thing open. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun. Little noodle thing. The Pokemon is also very, very cute. So yeah, life is busy. I don't even know like how or why, but it's just like, I also feel like in the fall, I start to get into different things, like different things relax me. So I'm like, oh, I want to play video games. And then it's like British Bake Off is out and there's new shows. I am obsessed with, what is it called? Um cooking class wars it's a korean um like cooking competition show it's so good i'm so hooked i'm obsessed it's so good um so it's just like i start to get it it gets a little bit more cozy even though the weather's been kind of um hot um and so yeah i don't know i just get into more things so that makes me feel more busy and then there's more things to do like i feel like every weekend there's like something and i'm the type of person who really likes weekends where I don't have as much going on. Like I like to mix it. I'm somebody who easily gets overwhelmed by having a lot of plans and I am an introvert. I, oh, hi Moo. Oh, okay. I am an introvert, so I need that time to kind of like <laughs> have some alone time. And you know, I have a job that's social. And so sometimes it's like, I just wanna be home and not have to talk to anybody. I've also gotten a lot more into cooking recently. So that has taken up more time so yeah, there's just like a lot going on. There's a lot of fun stuff, it's a lot of good stuff, but life is just so busy that it's like, I definitely don't think about my channel as much as I used to. Like, I'm definitely not as focused on it. I love doing it, and when I do it, like when I'm doing it right now, like I love doing it, but it's just, my approach is treating it more like a hobby than a business at this point. And um, it's been really good. Like this year has been a really good year. I just am really ready for a break. Um, because this year, like for vacation, I went to Germany for a couple weeks, which was so fun and I missed my family. So it was so fun to be with my family. But I think what I need, what I did not do with my vacation time is like book a staycation. And so I feel like I'm really craving a staycation. So hopefully towards the end of the year, I'll be able to like make that happen. Okay, more noodles. Ooh, these ones feel really nice. Um, these are the Shoyu non-fried instant ramen. This was $4. Um, and yeah, these just, it just looks so fun and so good. I don't eat ramen like that much, but I have found that trying like Japanese ramen, like the stuff from Japan. I like it a lot better than like what you just get in the store here at like a regular grocery store, not like if you go to a specialty like Asian grocery store. So I'm really excited to try these. My problem with making these is I feel like a lot of times in Asian cuisine, like you have a lot of toppings, like like egg, which that's not a problem, but sometimes like you want cucumber, you want this or that. And I just don't tend to have that on hand, just the way that I shop and cook and eat. So it's like, I have to make a mental note to go buy those things. I mean, if I want them, you obviously can just have them as is, but I kind of like the freshness of cucumber, or I think they have some, those might be bamboo shoots or like some other greens on it. So I'm excited, those are fun. They also had drinks. I didn't get any drinks, but you can get drinks. I've obviously been talking a lot about like how I've been doing, so I'd love to hear how you guys have been doing down in the comments below. I, because I haven't been as focused on my channel, I haven't been responding to comments as, as great. So hopefully I can like spend the time and like go through and at least like your comments or whatever. So let me know, how are you doing? I hope um, none of you were impacted by the hurricane, but I, I'm, probably some of you were, so my heart goes out to you and I hope you guys are doing okay. There's a lot going on in the world right now. Um, so, you know, I hope that everybody's doing okay mentally and taking the time for themselves because there's just, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. So yeah, would love to hear what's going on in your life. Up next, I got this here. This is Mikan Mochi. This has eight pieces and retails for $8. I don't know what Mikan is, but I'm assuming it's citrus. <laughs> this box is also very cute. Okay, it opens like, oh. My gosh, look at how cute those look. <gasps> they had different fruits that you could get. I actually have another one that I'll show in a second. So it is in the plastic. Okay, I don't smell much, but like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. Mochi just feels so weird. Okay, let me take a bite into it. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Those are so citrusy and good. Oh my goodness. There's like a little hard candy on the top too. I love the crunch that it gives. It's really vibrantly citrus. Okay, now I'm wishing I had ordered more of these or if they had different flavors. I did order one of the other flavors, which 
is the cherry. This one um, has eight pieces and is also $8, so same price. Now, I'm gonna open this one up, but I'm not gonna try one because I actually did get these for my sister Rachel for her birthday because her birthday's coming up. She loves cherries and she does enjoy mochi. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be a fun addition to her birthday gift. Oh my gosh, look, they look like cherries. I think that the stems are plastic because there is some sort of a notice in Japanese that talks about the stems. So I'm guessing you don't eat the stems. That is so cute. Okay, I'm not gonna open that up like I said because that is for her birthday. Now I need to go back out and see if they have other ones of those because I actually feel like that's not a bad price for some like really nice mochi. I'm stoked. Speaking of like birthdays and things, my birthday is actually around the time of, of hers and then you get into the holiday season. I am somebody who loves to give gifts. Like I love taking the time and the mental energy to think about what to get somebody and picking out something special for them. I know that not everybody um, likes that as much, but like, I don't know, I just really love it. And I got some stuff that I'm really excited about for her birthday, for my mom's birthday that's also coming up. I'm the type of person where like halfway through the year, I create a note in my phone and I start li listing out what I wanna get people for Christmas. Um, that way like, when Black Friday rolls around or when there's really good sales, I can pick up on things that I'm not rushing and just picking something random. Like, I really like to get people things that they like. Like, I just, I think one of my love languages for showing love is gift giving because I just, I love picking things out for people. So that's everything I got in the mini mart haul. I'm excited. I'm like really, really stoked. Like I really, really love their subscriptions too. And you get some stuff like this in the subscriptions. I the I did had three like videos that they sent me the subscriptions for and I'm like, I liked it so much that I'm like, do I need to go out and get one on my own? Cause I just, I really enjoy them. Um, I really like the, the, the candies and the treats and all the different things that you get. Like it's just so fun and it's different, but like, still really delicious. And I feel like a lot of the stuff that you get is pretty high quality. So you'll have to let me know like out of the stuff that I had in my little haul today, was anything interesting to you? And if you go out on mini, the, go to their mini mart and put down below, like, even if you're not gonna buy stuff right now, which you obviously, you can go buy stuff right now if you want to, but like, what's your, what's your dream cart in the mini mart? I would love to know um, down below. So yeah little chatty video. Those are some of the updates. I'm sure there's more, but I'm like, oh, there's so much going on that sometimes it's hard to like center yourself and think about the things. And obviously I still keep a lot of things private, so I'm not sharing like details or, or everything, but yeah, life's good. I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, definitely, obviously, like I said, let me know down in the comments below. And again, if you're interested, their advent calendars are out. So that could be a really great way to try some of the stuff that you can get um, in, in the boxes. So again, I'll leave that $5 off discount code for the subscriptions. I'll leave a link to the mini mart. I'll leave a link to the advent calendars. That way you can get to all this stuff down below. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.